here with yep. Kiki. If you think I'm here today to do the Kiki challenge, you're absolutely wrong. I'm actually here today to introduce the 2018 Hyundai Tucson. This Hyundai Tucson sells for 1.25 million pesos. Almost sounds too good to be true. That price is the equivalent or even less than the cost of most compact sedans. Is this the only reason why SUV sales are soaring? There has to be a catch. You're getting something bigger for less. Let's find out by taking a closer look at this compact SUV. Stepping inside the Hyundai Tucson, you're greeted with this dashboard that has a really nice layout. Everything is within reach. Now, there are hard plastics, but take note that all contact points are pretty soft. As far as the infotainment is concerned, I'm not going to get into too much detail because what you see before you is a dealer option. Looking at the climate controls, they are manually operated, but one thing to note is it almost looks identical to that of the high-spec version. Other niceties here include two power outlets, one auxiliary input, and a USB port. You also get this huge cubby hole and two cup holders. Sitting at the back, you'll find it's a really comfortable place to be in. And if you want more comfort, just pull this lever. And you know what? There's heaps of legroom, even more headroom. No doubt that you could fit three adults here see what did i tell you guys now let's see if there's just as much luggage space at the back need i say more the tucson comes with projector headlights and though there's no drls it still looks really striking moving on to the grill i love how they use the combination of black and gray to give it a really good contrast Overall, it gives the car a really aggressive yet bold look. At the back, you get these long, bulgy taillights. And they're really slim and sleek. Good thing about them is that they resemble the headlights up front, giving the car an overall fluidic appearance. The side of the Tucson is flanked with two big wheel arches. And while they do look rather stylish, they also tend to make the 17-inch rims look a tad bit smaller. So getting behind the wheel, the first thing I noticed is just how well balanced everything is. The steering is light, yet you get good feedback. The suspension is soft, yet there's no body roll. So it's really comfortable and it can take curves pretty well. Now this particular variant comes with a 2 liter gasoline engine. And it delivers 155 horsepower with 192 newton meters of torque. Peak power comes in at 6,200 RPM, so you're gonna have to step on it to make use of the engine's full potential. Now, the torque figures aren't astronomical, but since this transmission is so responsive, it makes up for it. It'll even hit the red line if you want it to. See what I mean? Did we fly to the moon too soon?
So is there a compromise in buying an SUV that costs less than a compact car? Well, if the price for more comfort and space is having to live without automatic headlights and push-button start, then there's absolutely no compromise. 